All right, guys, I am back here today. I'm going to be using the um, Sinful Colors. It's the Sinful Shine. And this one is in Mardi Gras. Sorry. Okay, so I've got my nails here. I went ahead and um, took the old polish off and went and just trimmed them up a little bit and filed them. So they're not perfect and I'm bleeding slightly, but we're gonna make this work. <laughs> so. Again, we're going in with this color here. That's the uh, Mardi Gras um, color. It's a, like an orangey coral color. Though that'd be kind of cool for fall. I'm still not quite ready to give up fall colors here. So we are gonna get started. So far, formula not too runny or anything, which is great. So we're gonna get started here. I think I'm gonna just go with all the nails the same color, not do anything too outrageous it's also late too so and I want to go to bed soon so I don't really want to take too much time to do this I just don't want my nails to look chipped and gross anymore like they were previously now as far as the look I did last week um it actually actually or even longer than that it actually lasted pretty long um the stamping nails despite the fact that I was doing a lot of cleaning videos it actually lasted a pretty long time. I just took it off tonight, so I don't know what was that, almost two weeks. So it's pretty good. Now this color is doing pretty good on one coat. Um, it could probably do maybe slightly better with a second coat because there's some streaking, but not too bad. filming on my phone camera. Um, I'm doing that because of the fact that I'm too lazy to go get the other camera. And as you know, every time I try to film a video in the bedroom, it is constantly being drained of battery. So, which gets really annoying after a while. So I'm gonna try it this way. My phone seems to have a lot of battery. Let's, just, I would knock on wood right now, but I just painted my nails. Um, so, but I'm hoping that it'll last a little longer here and I won't have as many interruptions. If you could only see the way this is set up right now, I basically have, because I don't have a perfect system for my little phone here, so I have like a monopod, and I did have a little tripod, but it doesn't stand up very well. So what I'm doing is, um, you know, improvising, and by that I am sticking the phone in a little basket, and it's holding it for me, so, um, you know, you gotta get creative sometimes. Okay, this one I think I faux pawed on a little bit because I added more nail polish to it because I was like, oh, I should just add it more. But I think it made it a little chunky. But okay, we're going to live with the mistake and we're going to move on. And this polish, by the way, I think I got it at Big Lots. It was like $1.99. So that's what I love about these Sinful Colors ones. They're actually pretty decent price for the formula you're getting. There's this one brand at Walmart. I don't want to drag Walmart because I love Walmart for a lot of things, but their one brand they have, the Salon Perfect, it is such garbage. Don't ever buy it. Highly not recommended. I had some of them. I don't know if I still have them, but I got them because they were neon colors and I was like, those would be so cool to have like a neon yellow and a neon pink. I mean like just straight up highlighter, you know, that kind of color. So I was like, that would be so cool. Well, the neon yellow one was just garbage. You don't even understand. Like I would go in the morning and I painted my nails the day before. So they're fully dry, nothing's going on with them or anything. They'd look pretty okay, you know? I'm like, okay, cool. Next day, just doing my job. I have like an office job. I'm not doing anything crazy or anything like not manual labor. I'm just doing my normal job and I would find pieces of nail polish everywhere. It was, I don't know if anybody else gets easily embarrassed by stupid things, but I get easily embarrassed by stupid things like that. So I'm sitting here like, why do I have fluorescent yellow nail polish in my freaking hair? You know what I mean? Why is this happening to me? Especially when you work in patient care and you're just like, I'm supposed to look like a normal person. And instead I come in here with like fluorescent pieces of paint in my hair. Just look like a weirdo. And it's just because your nail polish is chipping off all day. 
just wherever, like you're leaving it on the desk, you're leaving it in your hair, it's on your clothes, it's just wherever it decided to land, which is really freaking annoying. I mean, in one day, almost all of your nail polish was gone. In like one day. I mean, what was the point? Why even, why even waste your time trying to paint your nails? And the color looked so good before that too. It was like depressing. And the formula wasn't bad. Like on application, it felt fine. I don't even know if I still have it. If I do, I'm just saying, don't buy these. Don't buy Salon Perfect. Not recommended at all. Like, I mean, unless they've done some drastic changes to their formula, this was a couple years ago, I would not purchase it. And it's the same same cost almost as these. So it's like, what the flip? Like, what are you guys doing different? So what I did was I just took my little brush, like this little angled brush. I'm dipping it in, okay. This is me just like using the desk here for a minute. There's glass on top of my desk. I'm doing that just to like get off the excess moisture here. And then I'm going around my nails just to get the remaining nail polish, like where it got on the skin. And then I just tap off the excess, like I said. <sighs> now crumbs. <sighs> I don't want to curse. Okay. <laughs> I just dropped the tiniest little amount uh, of acetone on one nail and I'm like, okay, get off. I'm like scared it's going to eat through the polish that looks so good right now. It's annoying because my polish is looking pretty dang good. Like see, it's over here. It's like eating away just really slightly. So I'm going to have to go back over that spot. Uh, you can't just have it perfect the fir first run, you know? That would just be too good. It's out there that does their nails like super late at night. <sighs> Let me know in the comments. I just find it so relaxing just to sit here and like get this done and then feel like fresh and cool for the next day, you know? The only negative. <laughs> So I just have to clean up my little mess here, but this is what we're working with. I feel like it looks pretty good. Nice orange color. Um, we'll see how long it lasts, but um, so far so good. It went on really easily. Um, I did about two coats approximately. I was doing one coat initially, but kind of went back sometimes just to fill in where there was maybe a little patchiness. Um, but for the most part, you could probably do one. Ugh. Okay, I got too close to my nails. All right, we're going to keep them over here. Um, gosh. Ugh. Okay. When you're trying to do your video, okay. I'm just going to... And then I'm going to behave myself because I keep... I fumbled into one of them and now it's like all gross now on the edge. Okay. All right. I think I smoothed it back out. Okay. When you're trying to do your video. Okay. So I'm going to keep them apart because obviously they can't touch or they create a problem. Um, but that's what they look like. That's the final product. Um, so next week we'll take a look at nails again and then see where they're at. And we'll maybe try a new color and see what that looks like. But if you're wondering about this color, this is what it looks like. Um, again, Sinful Colors. It's the Sinful Shine one with the gel tech. Um, I probably should dry it with the gel light. I haven't done that yet. But so far, so good. This is what they look like. And um, again, it's in the Mardi Gras. Um, I was going to say <laughs> the labor it is the color Mardi Gras. So if you guys are interested, that's what they look like. I'll keep you guys up to date on how they wear. Okay. Bye, you guys. If you like this content, feel free to subscribe down below. And thanks for watching.